what is the responsibility to ourselves to and others? What is responsibility to ourselves and to others? I don't quite do I don't quite understand the question. Let's look at the question. Responsibility, what do you mean responsibility? The word responsibility, which means pro- respond, it comes from that word respond. Respond means it's retrospective, right? Look at it carefully. I don't know. I'm just. We are just investigating the world. I have a responsibility towards my wife. That's what we say. We are looking at the word responsibility. I, I respond to her in a certain way, which I don't respond to others in the same way, right? I respond according to my background of what I have learnt about her, and she responds what she has learnt about me. If that response, which is retrospecting, that is, looking back, because she is my wife, I have learnt about her, uh, that learning is memory. So the, re- <coughs> the word responsibility implies memory, recognition. The recognition is part of memory, you follow? All that. So responsibility towards her and the responsibility in our relation sexually and so on. Sensation produces the baby, and we are res- together. We are responsible for the baby. We are responsible for its education. Superficial education, right? School, college, university. If we have the money, or halfway, and so. Up to a certain age, we are responsible for her, for them. Afterwards, they can go. And in old age, they throw me out, send me to Florida or some place. (laughs) (laughs) Or old age homes, you know what's happening in this country. The tragedy of it all, you don't see it. And in India, there is no social security. I was told yesterday, the most populated country in the world, India is. It's the size, one third the size of America, of this country. And population is growing every year at the rate of 15 million a year. It's over 800 million people there. There, as there is no social security, they must have children, especially men, boys. Because when they grow old, as we all do, the son will look after them. That's the idea of having three or four children, not just one child. You understand? Please understand the tragedy of all this. And as the boy grows older, gets a job, this has been one of their burdens, to look after their parents, educate their brother, sister. You understand, sir? 
when they can't, I know several, I have known several boys and girls who have committed suicide because they can't manage it anymore. They feel so responsible for their parents. So the word responsibility is very complex. You understand? And are we responsible to ourselves? That's the question. What is the what is responsibility to ourselves and to others? Are we responsible to ourselves? What does that mean? Who is ourselves? You understand, sir? Who is ourselves? Who is we? Who is I? Am I responsible to myself? Which means, you understand the division? I wonder if you see that. There is a person who is responsible to myself. As I am responsible to my wife, there is somebody inside me or outside me who is responsible to me. Sounds rather silly, doesn't it? Or is there such a person who is responsible? God? Brezhnev? The glorified Father in the Father? Who is? You see how our brain works. When we say, am I responsible, is responsibility to myself, which means I have divided myself into some entity who is responsible to me. Therefore, I am responsible to that entity, which I have separated carefully, which is myself. I don't know if you've gone, that is. The thinker is the thought. Without thought there is no thinker. Right? But we have divided the thinker and the thought. I must control that thought. That's a bad thought. And I must think rightly. Which means I am different from thought. So, the thinker is the thought. There is no separation. The observer, psychologically, is the observed. There is no experience without the experiencer. I could go on, right? The experiencer is the experience. So, then what is the response? What is responsibility to others, right? What is my responsibility to you? And what is your responsibility to me? Here is an audience, what is your responsibility to me? And what am I responsible to you? So look at it. I am just looking at it for the first time. And all this comes out because, because I'm, I really un- want to go into this question of responsibility. I want to see, am I responsible to you? And you are responsible to me? And if I say I'm not responsible to you, then I'm isolating myself. Right? And if you say to me, You're not, we are not responsible to you, then you put me aside. I wonder if you see this. Responsibility implies division, basically. 
right? You are, I am responsible to her, and she is responsible to me. I am responsible to you, and you are responsible to me. That means I have separated myself from my wife, and I have separated myself from you, and you have separated from me. And so we have called. I don't understand you, and we don't understand you. We said the same thing. Which is, I am the Arab, you are the Israeli. Or if you don't like the Israelis, I am the Israeli, you are the Arabs. I am the Muslim, and you are the Hindu. If you don't like it, I am the Muslim, and you are the Hindu. So we battle each other. It's my country, I am going to protect it. It's your country, protect it. And we're going to war it for each other. It's your ideology, and I'm going to be responsible to that ideology, and you're going to be responsible to the other ideology. Right? This is what is happening in the world, calling it responsibility. Especially the elite. You understand? The elite call it we are responsible for the people. Having reached that elitism, the heart, and that's where I respond. It's also it's rot to me, to me personally. Because we are one human being. We are, you go through all kinds of travail, so does the other human being, psychologically. They have shed tears in India. And you have shed, they have shed tears in Europe, and you have shed tears here, right? Tears are common to all of us, like laughter. You have destroyed the whole the Red Indian culture here. Wipe them out. That's your Holocaust. Just face it. And uh, this has been going on from the beginning of time. And responsibility implies duty. Duty, I must do this. Duty of my country. Duty to my ideal. So look at all this. So, is it possible to live without division? Is it possible to live with my wife, if I have a wife, without any sense of division between her and me? Not common ambition. You understand? It's common ambition, then it's again a division. If it is each one of us is fulfilling ourselves, again a division. I don't I wonder if you see all this. So is it possible to live without any nationality? The speaker has both a diplomatic and Indian passport. Government of India gave me that. I don't know why, but they gave it to me. And it's a bore having a certain form of paper crossing the countries. And that doesn't make me make one in Indian paper. Do you understand? <laughs> so, is it possible to live without a single nationality? 
without being identified with any country. Because it's our earth, not your earth and my earth. Is it possible to live without any identification with that, any religion? Think it out, sirs, don't just agree or disagree. Or identified with any group, any organization, any institution. Which doesn't mean you're withdrawing from the world, isolating yourself from the contrary. Because then you're the entire humanity. Not just the idea of it, but the feeling of it, the religio- the religious feeling of it. That you are the entire humanity. I am my brother's keeper. Not that means I'm going to interfere with the poor chap, tell him what to do. So, sirs, this is the last question and answer meeting. There are several questions left here, I can't go through them now. If if one may ask, what have you received from all this? I'm asking this most respectfully and humbly, it's not aggressively put this question. What does one, after listening to some facts and not ideas and theories and opinions and judgments, what was what has one captured, received or not helped, seen for oneself? We get up.